In this tutorial, we're going big brother and talk about monitoring in Resolume Arena and Avenue. Monitors are an essential part of your VJ setup, so let's get started. Monitors are used to show what your content is doing. Generally speaking, you'll have a composition monitor to show you how your clips are mixed together, and without one, you'll be flying blind. If your monitors are for some reason gone, you can add them through the view menu like this. Alternatively, and again through the view menu, you can reset your layout to the default layout, which I'm using for this tutorial. When we look at the default layout of Resolume Arena, we see two monitors, the aforementioned composition monitor on top and the preview monitor below. By default, the preview monitor will have a blocky background, indicating transparency. The composition monitor will have a black background by default. Later in this tutorial, I will show you how to change this default behavior. Additionally, the preview monitor will have the transform widget enabled and the composition monitor will not. When I trigger this clip by clicking the thumbnail, we can see it in the composition monitor. The composition monitor shows the final output, the result of all layers mixed together. Now let's shift our focus to the preview monitor. When I want to preview the next clip, I don't click on the thumbnail, but instead on the handle below the thumbnail. This will allow me to preview the clip before I actually trigger it. But what if I told you that that wasn't the only use for the preview monitor and that you can also preview effects, sources and clips outside of the composition? You would be like, yo, Resolume man, tell me all about it. First, let's preview some effects. I'll navigate to the effects tab where I find the effects I would like to preview. Next, double click on the effect. Now we can preview how the effect would look if we were to apply it to the composition. To stop previewing, simply click on another effect. Note that you can adjust the effect before applying it. You could even adjust it to your liking, turn down the opacity, add it to a clip and slowly fade it up. The same is true for sources. Let's navigate to the source panel, pick a source and double click it. Now you get to edit it before adding it to your composition. The process for clips outside of the composition is similar again. Navigate to the files panel, find the clip that you would like to preview, note that turning on file thumbnails can help here, double click on a clip and it will be previewed in the preview monitor. Now you understand the basic of monitors, time to get advanced. Let's start by creating more monitors. Right click on the header of a monitor and select duplicate. Next, left click on the header and drag it to where you want the monitor to live. You might have spotted the option to undock the monitor. Undocking allows you to separate the panel from the main interface. This way you can split up your arena interface over multiple screens. This works for all panels, not just for monitors. Here we can see the undocked monitors in action. This gives VJs the ability to set up their monitors in a way that suits their show and playstyle. There is no best way to do it, so experimentation is key. Please note that once you've found the perfect layout for your project or general workflow, that you can save it. Navigate to the view menu and under layout you can save and manage your layouts. Moving on with Monitor Mania. Hitting on the cogwheel underneath the monitor opens up the guts of the monitor. Here you can change what you want to see. Selecting layer will allow you to preview a specific layer. This can be useful when you are using different blend modes on each layer or you need to isolate a certain layer for a director or other boss type. Groups are similar and allow you to see a specific group. In this composition I have a logo and advertisement group that I want to monitor at all times. The group monitor allows me to do just that. The crossfader option allows you to see either the A or B side of the crossfader, or monitor the result. The result might need some explanation, so please allow me. Monitoring the result will show you the mix between A and B. This means that all layers that are not assigned to the crossfader are excluded from this monitor. In this composition, I have a very old school VJ setup that heavily relies on the crossfader. I can monitor A, B, the result, and I've got a separate monitor for the composition that includes the background layer too. 
Moving on with monitoring options, we have the advanced output. This allows you to monitor your screens in the advanced output. In this example, I've made a proxy DJ booth in the advanced output. I am monitoring both the screen as well as the composition. Finally, there are selected monitors. These are selected clip, select layer and select group. They are very straightforward as they allow you to view the selected clip, layer or group. This is different from the layer or group monitors as they are locked to a specific layer or group. And those were all the monitor options as of recording this video. But there are some miscellaneous functions that you should know about while we're at it. The transform widget option allows you to toggle the transform widget for each monitor individually. The transform widget is a quick and easy way to move, scale and rotate your clips, layers, groups or compositions. If you want to learn more about the transform widget, we've got a whole video dedicated to this feature, link in the video description. The snapshot option allows you to take a snapshot of a monitor and add it to an empty clip as a still image. Snapshots will be stored in their own folder. You can use the file panel to quickly access this folder. Somewhat similar to snapshot, the copy image option will take a snapshot of the monitor and store it onto your clipboard. So you can go straight to whatever Twitter is called today, paste your artwork and back to Tate Modern to please exhibit it. And finally, we have the option to set the monitor background. You can choose between black or transparent. Now you are a monitor master. Feel free to add this to your resume and add us as your reference. But if you have any questions after watching this video, just drop them in the comment section below and we'll answer them if they are not too complicated. Links to the footage used in the video can be found in the video description and I'll see you in the next one.